Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas indeed. And happy holidays to anyone that is listening today. We greatly appreciate that you decided to show up on December 25th. That's right. Because there's a <laughs> lot of places that you could be, and I'm sure you're probably out for a walk trying to take a break from that family. Or on your way to the movie theaters so you can spend some time in silence. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of different emotions, different feelings that we all experience this day very, very differently. No matter what your religious background is, what your family background is, family ecology. Family structure. Yes. Everyone experiences this day very, very differently. Some people prefer to be alone. Some people don't. Like the whole gift giving thing, they feel like it is out of touch. And some people thrive in being around a lot of people, and some people thrive in the gift giving. Some people are very spiritual and feel like maybe this whole holiday has become very commercialized, and mm. sometimes we forget what what Christmas was really intended for. And so there's a lot of different different emotions that we all experience. And different experiences that we uh, we allow ourselves to have or, or that we um, perceive for ourselves. Yes. So I guess where Jason and I are taking today's podcast is no matter what it is that you may be going through or where you're at, we always like to get into the... Home of gratitude. Yeah, lean deeply into gratitude in different aspects of that. Because it feels to us like no matter where you're at or who you're with or what you're going through, it feels like a state of gratitude is always an empowering place to be. Yeah, it, it, so gratitude is one of those things that shows you what you have already. So we have... We have all the resources and resourcefulness around us, and gratitude allows us to start saying, I'm thankful for this. This is something in my life that I have, and it gives you something to build on. There's a saying, what you appreciate, appreciates. Oh. And so when we just take time to realize what we already have, I mean, not that we want to appreciate our problems, but even when we take time to appreciate the circumstances that we're going through, it makes us realize, okay, wait a minute. I'm alive. Yeah. I'm alive. <clears throat> if that means I'm breathing in these circumstances, I wouldn't be going through all these problems. If I wasn't breathing, if I wasn't a human on this beautiful planet, if I didn't have lungs and, and air in my soul, yeah, and the fact that you're able to actually be here listening gives you that you get to get into the gratitude of, well, I'm resilient. I've made it through whatever I'm going through or I'm 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 still making it through what I've I'm going through. I've come this far. Yeah. I can do hard things. So then you Glenn get, and Doyle always says that, I can do hard things. So then you get a foothold in the now so that you can go wherever you want to go because now you have the gratitude of, yes, I'm here. I've made it here. Now, where do I want to go? It anchors you. Instead of living in the hurt or living in the sadness, living in the the deficit, then you're just, then it's like trying to find that foothold and you keep missing the step. Oh, that's good. But when you get something to be grateful for, that gives you something to grab onto and something to build to. So if we can, so for me, I like to find some people in my life that have really Help me become who I am, whether it's someone that may have hurt me in the past and that I've been holding on to something, but allowing myself to be grateful for that hurt to realize, okay, I don't want to be like this or I have resilience from that and just thank someone for helping me become the person that I am today. Yeah, I was watching this movie and they said that at the end of our life, we'll actually 
reach out to people who actually played villains in our lives. And we will actually say to them, hey, thank you so much. You played such a great villain in my story, in my movie. So I just want to say thank you so much because you played your part perfectly. Yeah. And we don't You really knew how to push my buttons. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. think about it that way. And yeah. all of a sudden it kind of it kind of makes you laugh a little bit. You're like, oh my gosh, why did I let them upset me so much when they were just playing their part? Yeah, and you don't have to make them feel like a villain in that. So it can be just, hey, thank you for helping me become the person I am today. They were making me better. Yes. And that's a so we hold on to some of these things. And we feed the negative side of it instead of looking for, we talk about spin positive and looking for what makes me feel lucky about that situation. Mm -hmm. Like, so how did I become more resilient? How did I become more, um, how did I set bigger boundaries or better boundaries and say, I'm going to stick to my boundaries because I'm worth it. Do you have a specific <clears throat> example because so, I, I feel like sometimes you so, and I, we're, we're connected, we're talking, we're having a conversation and we're, we understand what we're talking so about. Both of us have lost teachers that have, that have, poured, As into of our, recently. That have poured into our lives. And so I reached out recently to Miss Johnson, my English teacher. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> this is Harvey. Wahlberg. <laughs> Whoever it is. And then also, um, so there's Lisa and Bob Wilder, who were my youth directors. And I was not the ideal um, person for youth, for, for like Methodist or Presbyterian youth. Okay. I was just mischievous. I was look. I was trying to find myself. You were a troublemaker. And trying to fit in, trying to be the life of the party. Yeah, quote, you were unquote. trying to make everyone laugh. Yeah, even if that was at the expense of the teacher. Because so many I know people. Because I had uh, actually taken on these other beliefs of I'm not enough. I'm not. I'm not X. I'm not this. And I was trying to undo that or or live into that which made it a challenge, but they planted all these people planted seeds in me that were like, this is who you're meant to be. This is your good. You're a helper. You're, you, you do good things. And it takes sometimes a while for the seed to grow, but it has grown and it is, it is growing into this strong, massive Oak or whatever a mountain of a man. Mm -hmm. And so but we often don't go back in time and think these people. He just people. called himself a mountain man. I, I don't am know a if mountain you heard of that. a man. He's a mountain <laughs> I'm a mountain man. Jason the mountain Where are my hiking boots? <laughs> the, um, but when we reach back out to these people and say, hey, thank you so much for having faith in me, for, for pouring into me, H however they did it, it opens up this wellspring of gratitude and also give someone else that, Hey, they want to matter in life. Mm -hmm. Like they want to feel like the work that they've put in has, ha has, has been able to provide fruit for someone. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes they don't know, like we don't know who we're affecting. True. And when we are free with our gratitude, when we uh, express it, it gives that birth of validation, validation, that birth of like, Yes, you've been doing well. You've lived life well. You've you've created something in me that is sprouting. Yeah, because sometimes <clears throat> that latency period is so far and few in between. We had it with our exchange students. That all of a sudden, <clears throat> you know, they forget how they forget doing that because they don't realize that and it we have no has grown into something. We have no idea how and everyone matters. Everyone is affecting someone else. Energy is contagious. You say that, that is often. True. So we don't and sometimes know. our lives are more about who we impact than about ourselves. Yeah. I, I firmly believe that. And when we realize the impact that we're having, it gives us the more energy and kind of like bandwidth to continue impacting and continue growing. Yes. Yeah, so Mrs. Johnson, thank you for the mountain man that you have <laughs> provided. I pictured the... I make her yodel. <laughs> Little lady who... <laughs> I pictured the brawny guy on, on the, the front of the, of the paper towels. Yeah. That's who I picture. That's right. That's who Jason's becoming. Lumber Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I think we have some lumber pajamas, Christmas pajamas that we need well, to good, go put on. Well, good, because I wake up with Christmas wood. 
Oh, oh whoa, whoa. Too, far, too far, too, too far. far. Back it up, back it up. This is all about gratitude today. <laughs> well, I'm thankful. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll cut him off. What? <laughs> Uh, oh, you're funny. oh, I'm punny. I'm punny. Uh, all right, guys. No matter what you're feeling today, gratitude. It's all about gratitude. Yeah. Whether it's people or situations, be thankful. Be grateful. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.